our first destination. Yes, Cannes and the famous film festival. This evening, Olivia Salazar Winspear is there for us. We can join her live. Olivia, I'll say great to see you when you're there. Hello. You I can hear you, you're there, great to see you. COVID caused the cancellation of last year's event, of course. How is COVID marking this year's event? It's true, there is a lot of uh, health measures, health and safety measures here. Uh, there's quite a lot of uh, controls at the door. We have to show our uh, health passports, whether that's a QR code or a piece of paper to show your status. But um, it hasn't slowed down proceedings in terms of the films. They did kick off this evening with a musical film, Annette, that comes from cult French director Leo Skaggs. And the story centers on a celebrity couple, uh, an opera singer and a stand-up comedian played by Marion Cotillard and Adam Driver. Now, this is a musical, but you can really banish any associations you might have with Broadway, feel-good, high-kicking dance routines, because it's much darker than that. The film owes much more to the work of French director Jacques Demy, who did the young women of Rochefort and the umbrellas of Cherbourg in the 1960s. A lot of the dialogue is actually sung, which is quite funny and also quite touching at times. Now, the music is written by the LA art rockers Sparks. They came up with the idea for the story as well. It's a very interesting examination of uh, what it is to be successful, what it is to be famous, and what it is to be in a relationship with an artist. It sounds really fascinating, Olivia, and it sounds like you're having a great time. Tell us a bit more about the films then. What, what, what do you think is tipped to win the Palme d'Or? Oh, it's absolutely too early to say, but it's an interesting choice for the opening film, I'd say, because Leo Skahax has an interesting history with this festival. He presented uh, Lovers on the Bridge, or the Amants du Pont Neuf, in 1991, which was really uh, well received, and then Holy Motors in 2012, after a few patchy years uh, in his career. He's someone who's not interested in the ordinary world or realism, uh, no, no gritty social realism for Leo Skahax, which makes it a kind of divisive sort of cinema. He's quite uncompromising. And actually, leading man Adam Driver said that he was such a fan of French cinema and of Leos Gags that he would have done anything to work with him. He didn't know that this film had singing in it or it was a musical before he signed up to work with him. And he actually told us that in an interview here on France 24, which will be shown in our special daily show, Encore in Cannes, which you can catch every evening at 10.15. Fantastic. Can I ask you one more question? You're near the red carpet, you've got a great place to look at it, look down on it all as it's happening. Have you seen anybody famous? Excite us. Well, of course, this evening the proceedings kicked off with Spike Lee, the president of the jury, dressed in a fantastic pink suit. Clashed with the red carpet, but it did look great. We saw the full jury there, uh, Taha Rahim, the French actor, Maggie Gyllenhaal as well. And there's Jodie Foster is also here this evening. She's been honoured with an honorary palm for her career. Of course, she first came to this festival when she was 13 years old with the film Taxi Driver. So it's fantastic to see her as well. Excellent. I'm looking forward to finding out where Spike Lee got that, that uh, pink suit. Olivia, thank you for being with us. I hope you enjoy uh, the job you're doing down there. Fantastic stuff. The Cannes Film Festival back, of course, after being cancelled last year. Olivia Salazar, we spoke with the team on the Croisette. Great to see you, Olivia.